The COVID-19 pandemic showing no sign of slowing down in Arkansas as we break yet another record. Over the past 24 hours, 2,312 new cases were recorded. Hospitalizations also breaking into new territory set earlier this week. An additional 21 were reported today, bringing the total number of hospitalizations to 826. We currently have over 15,700 active cases, and we added an additional four deaths today, bringing the total to 2,148. In response to those numbers, Governor Hutchinson announced a new task force. Claire Kreitz joining us live with how this new winter task force will handle the state caseload and the increasing hospitalizations. Claire. Yeah, Donna, that's the main focus of this task force to ease the strain on hospitals across the state. Governor Asa Hutchinson says right now hospitals are able to handle the amount of COVID patients, but says if we continue at this rate, it could put quite the burden on staff and resources. I am announcing the creation of the governor's COVID-19 winter task force. On the heels of a record number of coronavirus cases and hospitalizations at an all-time high, the governor announced a task force that will make recommendations on how to bring the numbers down. The task force will be led by Hutchinson and Arkansas Surgeon General Greg Bledsoe, with input from representatives from the Department of Health and hospitals across the state. The group will immediately focus on four key areas. Number one, coordinating the COVID caseload statewide. Hospitals are having to manage uh, both the COVID caseload as well as the regular caseload, and we don't want either one to suffer. Next, how can the state help with hospital resources? Many of the hospital staff, uh, too large a number, has to be quarantined themselves because of exposure, and so that shortens their work time. It puts strain on others. Then, how can they reduce the number of cases across the state, which Secretary of Health Dr. Jose Romero says goes hand in hand with people following the CDC guidelines? We need them to wash their hands, wear their masks, and watch their distances. It makes you nervous. Sarah McGavern lives in Little Rock and says as the restrictions have been lifted, she sees less and less people doing the simple things. We've gotten comfortable. Others in the community, like Taylor Natali, I personally don't think. Think we need to say we need to keep moving forward. We have to keep the economy going. When asked if more restrictions could be put in place if the COVID cases don't drop, Governor Hutchinson says right now that's not in the cards. You can never predict exactly what the future is going to be like, and you can't rule out anything, but that's not the direction we're going. The task force will meet Monday morning at 8 a.m. It will be a closed meeting over Zoom. Reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you.